look, I have this fancy shield. Well, it's actually, you know, the cover of our laundry basket, but I like to pretend it's a shield because why not? In this episode, we're going to look at the shield control in the exam community toolkit, which looks a lot fancier than this thing actually. Um, and we're going to see how to use it, how to implement it into your application and how to make it look cool and tappable. Let's just go check it out. So here we find ourselves with a running file new Xamarin Forms application. You can see it in the left in Visual Studio for uh, Mac um, 2019. The same thing, of course, works in Windows with Visual Studio. On the right, we can see the actual code running um, on the iOS simulator, which is pretty cool. Uh, and whenever we make changes, because it's running, we can just see hot reload in action. So let's name this the shield sample. Here we go, save that and boom, you can automatically see that update on the right shield sample. There we go. Now what I've already done is um, I've already installed the NuGet package of the Xamarin Community Toolkit. You can see it here on the top. Um, so I've just installed this um, version 102 at the time of recording. Um, just search for Xamarin.Community Toolkit. You can install it, no problem. So whenever we do, I can just keep running this because I'm gonna do most of this in uh, XAML. And what we, the first thing we need to do whenever we want to use this is ax, add this XML namespace. And I'm going to name that XCT. It can be anything what you want, but I'm going to name it XCT. And then we can use this fancy um, URL ending in toolkit, and then it will know all the controls that we have in there. And of course, the other things. Um, so let me just remove these labels right here. And what I can do then is add the shield and it will automatically see it's in the XCT namespace. So here we go. Um, and you know, if I don't specify anything, it's going to be pretty empty probably. See, there's nothing there. Um, but whenever I do, so you might know these things from like GitHub where you have these like shields or badges or whatever you might call them. Um, and you can say on the left, like this is NuGet and on the right, it can say the version number that's currently on NuGet or the build status, like, hey, the uh, main branch is building uh, or, or broken at the moment. So that's kind of the shields that you uh, have to think about for this as well. Um, so on the left, you can specify the subject. So let's say something random, like, I don't know, YouTube, there we go, save that. And you can see that pops up already. And it's, you know, nice rounded corners on the left. Uh, it's a little bit small. I will see if I can blow it up in a little bit. Um, but, and on the right, you can see that, that you know, um, thing where we, that it's cut off and we have to add uh, the other part and the other part is status uh, because normally it's like a subject and a status, right? We could have named it other things, but it's subject and status. Um, so what could we do for status here? Maybe, maybe, you know, you have subscribed to a certain YouTube channel. So the status is subscribed because that's what you did, right? Um, so status subscribe, there we go. Um, and now for the left part of the subject, the um, background color is actually fixed. So um, at the time of recording, maybe whenever you're viewing this, it has been changed. Um, but if you're looking for a relatively easy change and you want to implement this, I think that is a good one to start. Pro tip right here. Um, but for the right part, you can uh, definitely set the color. Um, so here we go, we can just set color. We set that to red because it's YouTube and there we go. So that now we have YouTube and subscribed on the right side. Um, or maybe we should do green because you know, green has, uh, whenever you're subscribed, then it should be green, right? So uh, maybe we want to set the text color then. Do I just set the text color to white? Oops, white. No, that's not the right text color. Then. Oh, there we go, because I had an invalid value. So the text color influences the um, color of the status text. So here we go, YouTube subscribed. And let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. I think, you know, if I change the font size right here, so you have all the things, font family, font size. So if I set the font size to, I don't know, 25, let's see what that does. You can make it a little bit bigger. See, so that's really cool. You can just make it um, bigger. There we go. So if I just add another one to just, um, you know, add some, some more things, maybe you also want to do Twitter, which is kind of like blue. Um, and do we want to say following? because you know, I'm also on Twitter, so maybe you want to follow me there. Um, and we make this uh, 40 to make it even bigger. There we go, boom, uh, Twitter following. So the other cool thing is whenever you might not be following, 
um, we can do also a command on here. So, you know, whenever you tap this thing, you can actually do a command. So let's do a binding uh, tapped shield. Here we go. And you can just tap this thing. And then we need to actually, of course, implement a little thing here. So let's say public command uh, tapped shield shield um, get set there we go and whenever we do this let's put this in the constructor right here tabbed shield um, is new command I could have done this right there in line by the way but you know who's counting who's counting so there we go and we're going to say display alert um, subscribed I don't know let's do something it was following for Twitter well um, you were now subscribed thanks okay so there we go and you can just hook up a command so now I do have to stop and restart the application right here so you can just hook up that command and you can tap actually that on that thing um, which is not working who knows quick question quiz question let me know in the comments pause the video right now do you know why it doesn't work I do because I forgot to set the binding context here binding context context is this there we go so if you want to know more about data binding a um, playlist should pop up in your video right now and I'll put it in the video description um, because you know with the data binding it's going to look for this property and it has to be a property um, and but we need to set the binding context right it needs to know where to look for that property and we're going to set it to this so we set it to main page and inside of that main page it's going to look for tab shield because we're telling it to do um, binding tab shield right here so that's what we can do and now it's properly hooked up did I stop and did it again no not yet okay so stop rerun again shouldn't take too long and whenever we do then we end up with a tappable shield. There we go, subscribe, you are now subscribed. I hope you are subscribed too. Um, and this is the shield, there's nothing more to it really. It's just some fancy design thing um, that you could use that looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, and you can just use it fairly easily by just specifying two kinds of text. You can just show some status and that's it. Sweet and short video just on how to use the shield in the Xamarin Community Toolkit. So I left a little pro tip in there um, to, you know, if you're looking for a contribution, how to start with contributing to open source. The Xamarin Community Toolkit is a welcoming project for that. If you can figure it out, let me know. And I'll probably make a video about how to get started uh, somewhere later on. If that's something that you want, let me know in the comments. If there's anything else you need, you want to ask, let me know in the comments too. Um, and as always, just like this video. If you've actually liked it, please subscribe to my channel um, and I'll be seeing you for my next video.